Welcome back here. The Twin Cities Bridal Show returns to the St. Paul River Center this Sunday. No reason to wait, though, to start planning. We are getting a head start with a little help from gown fashion. What are the hot trends when it comes mm -hmm. to wedding dresses? Joining us with the trend preview, Matthew Tuttle from The Wedding Guys. Hello. Good, Good to see you again. Morning. Good morning. Here we go. We've been talking a lot. This is going to be the year of the wedding because it seems like it's everybody's a got a wedding. Right. Yes. yes, it's so exciting. So let's talk fashion and why not start with the big one, right? The wedding dress. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, you've got four here that you wanted to highlight and we're starting starting over there. We're going to start with this beautiful uh, Maggie Sotero gown um, from Bridal Isle Boutique. Mm -hmm. What I love about all the dresses, lace right now is a really big trend. Um, and so we're seeing that across the, the spectrum of all the dresses, but each one really has something really unique to it. Um, this particular gown, um, the lace is actually on this beautiful netting, hmm. um, which is really, really interesting. Definitely a really great boho look. The other thing that you're going to see is plunging necklines. Um, and a lot of them will have a beautiful kind of little modesty panel in them, um, but that kind of more sexy look is really hot right now. Um, are we... Are Modesty. This one, yes. you, correct me if I'm wrong, this, there, there's through. nothing there, correct? This is from David's Bridal. Okay. This is a Galena signature. It has a built-in bodysuit. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, to cover so this things. is something new. Okay. okay. Um, right. And for, for brides that are maybe a little less daring, you can also get these lines. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but again, that <laughs> sheer thing is yeah. really super right. hot. It's almost that kind of lingerie look. And I think it works really good. Like if you're having like a beach wedding sure. or something yes, outside, definitely. super fun. If you got it flaunted, I guess, right? Again, just beautiful lace as well. Um, now, and can then, I ask real quick, what, before we get to the ones without the sparklies, yeah. are those just little type of crystals? What are the sparklies um, so, on So these are sequins on here, and yes. there are little um, bugle beads on there as okay, well. Okay, and what about the, uh, um, the lining And so these are that. bugle beads right? um, as well, and okay. a little yep, uh, iridescent sequence on there too. Beautiful. This is another lace, um, but this is interesting. This is, I don't know if you saw this one. This is stretchy. Mm. This like lace stretchy. stretches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, That's how we're um, going. Um, yeah, exactly. This <laughs> is a signature look from Grace Loves Lace, and we're really fortunate. The, um, Grace um, is a designer from Australia and they have a signature salon here in Minneapolis. Hmm. It's really rare for designers to actually have signature salons outside of the market that they're in. Wow. Okay. Um, and so we're really fortunate to have that. Now, what's really fun with this dress is the um, insets yeah. mm -hmm. um, in the sheer, which is really great. Um, this dress actually, you can do different color linings. Um, so oh, depending neat. on the lining, the lace will stand out a little bit more, a little bit less, huh. depending on the look that you're going um, for. Sure. And again, kind of that plunging neckline is really, really popular. With the little, what, what are we calling this? It's kind of like a little modesty panel. Oh, modesty, modesty panel. Holds, holds, every, okay. holds everything yep, together. Yep, yep. Right. Yeah, like a little we candy. know what it does. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's important. It's necessary for sure. <laughs> it is. Holds it all together. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I'll get out of the way for this big one. So our next look is from Mested's Bridal and Formalware. They're down in Rochester. Um, this is a beautiful ball gown. And again, um, you know, all over lace. Mm -hmm. What's really great about this gown is it kind of has a surprise because you can go from a Are you kidding me? Sleeve I was wondering if you could take off the sleeves. A strapless <laughs> That's great. look just by Oh undoing God. the have sleeves. To do that. Isn't that great? Yeah, That's that really is neat. so awesome. Actually, too, because, you know, if you are getting married in a church, sometimes certain churches want you to have your shoulders covered or exactly. people feel like hmm. you should in a church. Yeah. But maybe you don't want that for the party. Yeah. Rip them right off. The sleeves. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so that is fantastic. so cool. So it's just little, little snaps, huh? Yep. And what's great is that ball gown look is really popular again. Yes. Um, the people are going back to a classic. Traditional. Um, and we're seeing a lot of tradition coming back in weddings, which is really fun. Well, and I think it'll feel more like back to before COVID this year at the Twin Cities Bridal Show yes. this year. Tell us what we can expect. We're so excited. It's, it's our last show of the season, so it's a must for anybody that's planning a wedding in the end of 2022 or even into 2023, 2024. With the boom of weddings right now, um, couples really need to find their vendors earlier. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's great to be able to come to the show, find photographers, caterers, um, florists, everything that you need for your wedding. Kind of call it like speed dating for mm -hmm. your wedding vendors. Um, but in addition to that, you can see these amazing gowns and more on our fashion runway. Um, you nice. mentioned obviously trying to get in. I had heard that a lot of these venues, they're booking up. Yeah. Whereas, I mean, people are looking at weddings on a Monday afternoon, a Monday evening. Are you seeing to that extent? Yes, people are looking at alternate dates. If they want to get married in 2022 specifically, most of the venues are booked during like the um, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. Mm -hmm. um, so people are um, choosing maybe a Thursday evening, which is actually really fun. I think people have really learned to look outside of the box um, during COVID and have really embraced really unique ways to celebrate their love. Are you seeing kind of back to the traditional maybe dresses? Are you seeing back to the traditional like bigger weddings? Are people feeling comfortable there? Or are we still yes. kind of 
easing no. our way in. People, it's been interesting. We've seen a bunch of people that are planning weddings for 200 plus people at this mm -hmm. point. Um, they want to bring their families together and celebrate. You know, for a lot of them, they haven't really gathered in the last two years, and this is kind of their first opportunity to do that. We've been so far apart for the last couple of years, so it'll be nice yeah. to come together again. Are you guys also at the bridal show? Can we expect to see like different uh, bridal shops that you're partnering with? Because it'll be a lot of choice and options mm -hmm. there, right? Yes, so in addition okay. to the bridal salons that are on the runway, there are other bridal salons that are in the show itself. Um, so lots of fashions. We have a fashion gallery as well. So um, like what we've shown today, we have mannequins filled with dresses. And so you can see lots of different styles. Mm -hmm. Tuxes too? Yes. Let's not forget about the guys, yeah, Exactly, right? the guys need uh, <laughs> Just real quick, and I don't know if we have time, but you too. mentioned um, a different color you could put underneath when you were talking about this one. Yep. I just thought thinking about my bridesmaids, would that be an option of like a little hint of whatever they're wearing or something like that? You know, some designers allow you to really expand on what you're doing for your linings. Yeah. Um, most of them would come in kind of a, a range of kind of nude. To, nude. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Not but the bright red. The hot, my, the hot pink in there or something like that. Totally. Yeah. Or like a soft blue would be really pretty. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah. You're something blue. Keep it exactly. Soft. <laughs> Bingo. Matthew Trail, thank you so much from the wedding guys. We appreciate yeah. you coming in. Thanks for having me. This has been great. Uh, the Twin Cities Bridal Show is this Sunday at St. Paul River Center. Get tickets at theweddingguys.com. And we will post today's segment on the Fox 9 Good Day Facebook page. You can check it out a little bit later if you're